So today I went foraging at Dalkeith Country Park and I came across these rose hips. Um, I did collect a few, I didn't get a lot, but unfortunately I have to keep the, the lid on the tub at the moment because there is some stevium about in there that will be safely evacuated outside. So the rose hip comes from a thorny branch and they've got this sort of white internal sort of seed centre. Um, so the good telltale sign is if you break a rose hip open you'll see white. So these can be found in harvest during late August and November. Um, they can be used for a number of different things, syrups, flavouring milk, uh, making jam. Um, they're also during the Second World War when supplies for citrus fruits were kind of cut off. Um, they started to take rose hip a little more seriously as it was found that there was actually 20 times more vitamin C and rose hip than what there is in oranges um, so they are quite beneficial for your, your vitamin C but yeah I'm going to hopefully make these into a nice beautiful red ink so I popped the rose hips in a stainless steel pot um, I've added in a small amount of salt and a small amount of white vinegar the measurements I was looking at um, told you to use a cup's worth of rose hip unfortunately I didn't collect that many so I've just used a tiny wee bit of water to cover them. I've put in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of vinegar. I'm going to leave this to boil for an hour and come back. So I'll let you know how this is kind of looking in an hour's time. I need this sort of like brownie colour. So the two things that I've got here is gum arabic that I got from the range. And I also got some whole cloves from Sainsbury's. So the gum arabic is to help thicken it up, which makes it a bit better for using its ink. And uh, I use whole cloves and that's basically just to prevent the ink from going mouldy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little drops of the Arabic. And I'm just going to drop it in here. And then I'm just going to take my brush and pop it off. Pop it out. So it does say it's only used two drops of the gum of it, so I'm just hoping that that's going to be enough. And then I'll just drop a little clove in to help prevent it going mouldy. So this is a colour that I got. Um, it's still looking really, really runny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on heat for a little bit just to let it thicken up more. So it's cooled down now and this is what it looks like. It's just a tiny bit slightly darker, um, but... Still a little bit runny. I actually changed the print. It looks completely different compared to how it looks in here. Um, I would have thought that rose hip would have created more of a, a red sort of ink, but this is looking quite a an orangey sort of brown. Um, so I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to come back and see what it looks like once it's dried. And this is what it looks like now it is dried.